All right. So there are various different AI models like the ChatGPT 4O Mini, 4O, then we have Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, 3 Opus, Llama, Mistral, Grok. I mean, there are a lot of them, right? And depending on the particular task that you're trying to accomplish, a model might be really great or bad when compared with the other one. And if you were to subscribe to the paid plan of all these AI models, it will be like a huge amount of money that you will have to spend on a monthly basis. For example, the ChatGPT Plus subscription is $20, Cloud Pro subscription is $20, then you'll have to spend another $20 for the Gemini Advanced subscription. And again, if you want to try AI image generation uh, models like Midjourney or Stable Diffusion, you'll have to pay significantly more money as well. Well, this is where Ninja Chat AI comes into play. So Ninja Chat AI is like an all-in-one AI platform where you can access all the latest and greatest AI models all in one place. I mean, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this right here is ninjachat.ai dashboard and this is the interface that you'll be treated with once you log into your account. And if you scroll down, you can see a lot of different AI models here. For example, we have ChatGPT 4O, 4O Mini, then we have Cloud 3 Opus, 3.5 Sonnet, Llama 3, Perplexity AI, Mistral, Gemini, Grok. So all of these are AI models that you can use right now all within Ninja Chat. So let's go over the features one by one. And my personal favorite has to be this AI playground feature right here. So as soon as you click on this AI playground option, this is the interface that you'll be treated with. And as you can see, they say compare responses with different AI models. So there'll be like four different sections by default and to every single section, you can also find a drop down menu. And from the drop down menu, you can select what uh, particular AI model that you want to interact with. Let's say I want to interact with ChatGPT 4.0 in this one. Here, let's keep it as 3.5 Sonnet. And here, let's say I want to communicate with Gemini 1.5 Pro. And here, let's keep it as Mistral Large. Now, to the top right, you can also find an option that says Sync Chat. Let's keep it enabled right now. And if I go ahead and send a message here and click on Send to All button, as you can see, the same message has been passed to all four uh, AI models simultaneously. All I had to do was enter a message here and click on send to all button and now I can view the responses from all different AI models here. And again, if you want to use any one of these models alone or exclusively, you can go ahead and disable this option and the message uh, bar will appear here and you can just go ahead and give it a prompt something like this. What is AI and click on send button and now chat GPT 4o will exclusively give me the response and everything else will be intact. And similarly, if you want to be able to upload images and communicate with these AI models, then you can go ahead and select uh, any AI model from here. For example, let's say ChatGPT 4o. And here you will find this message bar and also an option to attach images as well. So let's say I want to attach an image and ask some questions about it. So I'll go ahead and click on this attach image option and select the particular image that I want to upload just like this. I'll go ahead and enter a prompt something like what breed is this dog? Okay. I'll go ahead and click on the send button and let's see. Yes, the model says me this uh, chat GPT 4.0 tells me this is German Shepherd and yes, it is indeed German Shepherd. And that's how we can upload an image and ask question to each individual AI models. And now let's come back to the AI playground section and I'll give it a prompt something like explain about quantum computing as if I am five. Okay. I'll make sure the sync chat option is enabled and I'll click on send to all. And now all of these AI model have responded to this one and I can view and compare the responses from all these different AI models. And if you look at here, you can see Cloud 3.5 Sonnet has used a lot of emojis and stuff to make it interactive for, you know, uh, people who are younger. And again, uh, this one has a lot of uh, headings and stuff. And the way each of these AI model explains the exact same concept is very different. So you can go ahead and compare which one looks good and you can go ahead and copy that one and use. Now let's go ahead and ask it a coding related question as well. Let's say create a simple oops, react calculator app and I'll click on send to all. And now it's giving us the code and the guide as to how to set up and create a react a simple calculator app in react see i can see the code and everything is beautifully formatted and i can go ahead and compare the different responses and you know the code and take the best one and use it in my project now that's how simple it is to use the chat playground option to compare and use various different ai models all at once and if you want you can go ahead and click on this button to reset all the chat and if you want to view the history you can click on this one and again if you want to use multiple more models you can go ahead and click on the six panels and you can see we have six different options and you can go ahead and configure different ai models like this so that's pretty much all about for the chat playground option now ninja chat not only comes with this text generation models you can also go ahead and click on this option that says ai images 
and you can go ahead and generate AI images as well. For example, let me just go ahead and give it a simple prompt, something like a playful red panda balancing on a bamboo branch in a snowy forest. And you can go ahead and click on this option and select the model that you want to use. Right now they have Stable Diffusion 3 and Flex AI Pro. And clicking on this Cog icon, you can go ahead and adjust various parameters like what is the aspect ratio, the quality output and also CFG scale. So I'll just simply go ahead and click on the send button. And for now I'll use Stable Diffusion 3 and we'll compare which one works well. And there we have it. This is the image that uh, Ninja Chat has generated for us. And if you want to download it to your computer, you can go ahead and click on this view larger icon and you can go ahead and view it and also save it to your computer. Okay. And now let's just go ahead and try the same prompt with a different model, which is flex and I'll click on send and let's, let's simply compare which one looks good. All right. Mm. Both of them are equally good, but I kind of like the stable diffusion trees better i mean if you want you can also go ahead and play with different prompts and stuff and generate images using different model and you can just simply download it to your computer in no time now another important feature to talk about is this chat with pdf option so let's say you have a really big or humongous research paper with like hundreds of pages you can go ahead and upload that pdf to here and you can ask questions about that pdf and this ai model will actually give you responses back all right so for example let me just go ahead and drag and drop a sample pdf file Okay, for example, this right here is a PDF file about quantum computing and you can see we have about uh, 22 pages and it's like really long and GPT-4 has already given us an introduction or summary as to what exactly is this, uh, you know, a PDF file all is about. We can go ahead and say who are the authors of this document and hit send. And this now says the authors of the document introduction to quantum computers are Surya Teja Marale and yeah, these guys and these guys are the one who authored this one and also uh, researchers and scientists uh, contributed to this publication. And again, um, what is quantum computing? And based on the PDF file that we attached, GPT-4 has given us a response and all this response that you see right here are actually kind of fetched from this pdf file so what exactly does this do you ask well the ai will take the entire pdf file and analyze the entire text content and then after that after we give some kind of prompt the ai will go ahead and find the exact portion and give it as a response back and that's exactly what you can see right here now you don't have to go through the entire 22 pages to find the particular information that you're looking for now yet another feature that's available on ninja chat is this writing library option so as soon as you click on this option this is the interface that will be greeted with and you can find various different writing tools in here for example let's say i'm writing an essay so i can go ahead and click on this essay outliner option and enter a topic in here and also the word count and the essay outliner will give me an outline or a structured outline for the essay so let's say i want to write an essay on quantum computing okay and i say on quantum computing and let's say i want it to be thousand words oops thousand words and i click on the generate button and boom there i have it outline for an essay on quantum computing and these are all the main headings and the subtopic that needs to be talked within that heading all right no so not just for this essay outliner you can go ahead and find various different uh, tools in here for example professional email drafter text naturalizer then we have academic simplifier then we have story structure adapter so all of these are you know writing related tools that you can find within nninjachat.ai and now comes the most important part and that is how much does ninja chat ai cost you okay so this right here is the pricing section of ninjachat.ai and as you can see they have three different plans the first one is starter the second is pro and the third one is expert so they have both monthly and yearly plan so if you go with the yearly plan that will be like a lot cheaper than what you get as the monthly plan so for example in the starter plan it's nine dollars a month and you can send 1000 ai powered messages 30 image generation access to all ai models email support and also prompt library access similarly on the pro plan which is like 18 dollars per month it gives you 5000 ai powered messages and for the expert plan which is at 25 dollars it gives you 10000 ai powered messages and if you switch to monthly plan it will be like 11 24 and 36 uh, respectively now let's say you subscribe to the pro plan right here which is like 18 dollars a month if built annually 
and you can send 5000 AI powered messages and this plan costs you less than what actually the chat GPT plus plan cost you okay so if you have to uh, subscribe to this chat GPT plus subscription it will cost you $20 and again Claude AI will cost you another $20 and Gemini will cost you another $20 right now by paying just $18 you are able to access all these models that are available on chat GPT Claude and Gemini all within this ninja chat amazing user interface okay and if you plan to subscribe to this tool you can go ahead and use this coupon code right here to get 25% discount on your total bill value so yeah go check out ninja chat ai today and that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about in this video hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one